The first day of GTC 2023 was amazing. So I'm gonna to talk to you now in this video and give you just a quick overview of what was my favorite session for today, the first day. This session was presented by the Rapids team and they gave a tutorial over just an introduction to it and talked about all of the features. This is a little different than what that team typically does at a GTC where they talk about just the new features coming out. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of it. You'll wanna catch the full presentation, which I have a link to in the description. Also have a link if you still need to sign up for the completely free GTC 2023. And remember, I have a giveaway going on where I'm giving away a 4080 GPU and five DLI credits. So link also in the description. The two presenters were John Zedleski and Ashwin Chernot. So both of these are on the team for Rapids and gave a great overview. John talked about some of the big picture, where things are going. Ashwin gave actual code examples. First thing to be aware of with Rapids, probably the thing that it's most known for is QDF, where you just drop that in and it replaces pandas. You don't have to change a whole lot of code. There are some things that you can change to further enhance performance, but largely it's a drop-in that will take things that would take 10 minutes down to seconds as they were showing in this presentation. Numba looks really interesting. I have not worked with Numba. Numba basically takes your Python code and translates it over to CUDA and lets it execute inside of the GPU. This is used internally within Rapids to allow it to achieve speed. And one application that I saw of this that was really amazing is they had a data set that had locations and they were able to get it to sort of latitude and longitudes and use a function that calculates the distance across a sphere between any two points, kind of a great arc sort of thing. They were able to execute that code entirely using a, a lambda and apply type operation on the data frame. And it happened all extremely fast compared to the pandas only version. QML is another hallmark of Rapids and it is a re-implementation of many, the vast majority of the models in scikit-learn and XGBoost, all these models, you can run them now on the GPU. So the GPU is not just for deep learning anymore. And this lets the pipeline, the data stay in the GPU rather than having to round trip from pandas. KuGraph also looked really interesting. This is graph processing used a lot in social media or fraud detection or some of the applications that I've seen it for. This lets you really be able to execute these very, very complex graph procedures completely inside of the GPU using Rapids. Okay, if you're not already signed up for GTC 2023, the link's in the description. And make sure you check out this amazing talk on Rapids, especially if you're looking to just get into it. 